My name is Mike Ward. This is my property. I'm really interested in restoring and reconnecting this um, property to the Little Spokane River. You know, I think this would be a great rearing zone for, for red bands. It could be a stronghold for them. Um, it's got super cold water. You know, you can come out here in August and having this water still be 56 degrees. That doesn't happen everywhere. And so for me, I'd like to see what it used to be like. You know, I always have dreams of be really sweet if I could have steelhead coming all the way up here because they would have been here. Uh, you know, what would this place have been like before we messed everything up? Um, always think about that. We got a pond here that's fed by six springs on the pro on our property and um, along the hill um, from the Rathrum Aquifer. Um, all this water stays about 56 degrees year round um, and then it eventually will dump into the Little Spokane. Uh, right now it's, there's a floodgate that controls this and you know makes it more of a lake environment, pond environment. So we're gonna go uh, shock the, the creek and uh, see what's in here right now um, and see how if we do have a red band population. Rainbow trout 70, rainbow trout 89, RBT 100, genetic sample 20JU11. So we got a brook trout at 204. It's a pretty fish. We are taking species length and for uh, rainbow trout over 100 millimeters, we're also collecting genetics. So uh, Casey's program has coordinated with the Colville Tribe and the Department of Fish and Wildlife to genetically assign uh, different populations of rainbow trout, not just within the Spokane subbasin, but also within the Upper Columbia in general. So with that genetic information, we can tell if they've interregressed with uh, hatchery stocks, because there is a hatchery um, within the Little Spokane subbasin. There's also a history of hatching, but there's all of history of stocking but there's also um, some strongholds for red band trout and we're hoping that this is one of them. This is kind of our first stab oh, surveying this property, so we might come back. We might be interested in doing some pit tagging to look at residency um, or some other follow-up studies to kind of get a better idea of the life history that these rainbow red band trout, hopefully, are, uh, are using. Uh, we have found rainbow trout, hopefully the red, native red band trout, the genetics will tell us that. We found brook trout, uh, brook sculpin, excuse me, brook stickleback, as well as sculpin species. And, well, yeah, those are really the only four fish species that we've come across so far.